Hey guys, Herbal Prepper here, and today I'm going to show you another way to one, purify water, two, make water for a uh, wound solution, and three, start a fire, all from the same main ingredient. Now this main ingredient is potassium permanganate. Now you will need a secondary ingredient like antifreeze or glycerin, but as of right now, if you are in the woods, I see no reason to carry around a jug of antifreeze. Now you might actually carry around glycerin. I personally do. I do this for one uh, well, two or three reasons really, but the main reason is one, it's used as a sweetener that's not going to spike a diabetic sugar. Um, it's also used, as you can see here, I've told you in the past that I actually use, I used to use, I don't use so much anymore with my son because he's now older, but I used to use glycerin for um, like a sweetening agent and bitter herbs. So uh, something uh, that I was going to make like a tincture, I could actually extract the properties into the glycerin and then give it to my son and he wouldn't turn his nose at it. So. Um, that's another reason, a few reasons why you might actually carry glycerin in your bag. And it, like I said, it's a sweetener that's not going to affect your sugar. All right, so um, ways that you would use it as a wound wash. Basically the same thing that you're going to do with turning um, non-potable water to potable water. The only difference here is the amount that you're going to use. Now if you're going to use this, make something that's potable water, you're going to use a very small amount, guys. Extremely small amount. Um, you're going to turn your water a light pink. Now this is just tap water, guys. I just wanted to show you how potent this stuff is. Now if your water turns dark purple, you need to add one, add more water, or two, throw that away. Because if it's too dark, it can actually be toxic. So if you're going to ingest it um, to, to make water potable to drink, you want it to be a pink and a light pink at that. If you're going to use it as a spray or a wound wash to prevent... Um, you know, things from turning septic, then uh, it can be a darker, you know, purple. Uh, if you're going to use it like an antifungal or antimicrobial on your athlete's foot, then that's fine. It can be darker as well. But just to give you a run through of how potent this stuff is, I'm going to show you real quick. All right, guys, so this is potassium permanganate. I recommend being in a well ventilated area, also using non reactive containers. So, as you can see, um, I like to always use plastic over my. Um, tinctures and stuff like that. I've told you guys in the past, but I also do the same thing if I'm going to um, put something that's going to react to something else in my bug out bag. Um, so I'm going to store this in vials um, and it's going to have a natural cork on the top. Now you can use something that's uh, not going to react to potassium permanganate, but I just use cork because that's what I have. And then I'll take that and stick that into a vial. And then I'll have another one with my glycerin completely separate from each other, okay? just in case if anything spills out in your bag. So just to give you a run through, and if you might zoom in here, you can see that some people will have the fine powder here. And I recommend, like I said, being in a well-ventilated area. Don't get this in your eyes or nose or mouth. Um, but others might actually have the actual uh, big chunks that resemble salt. So I'm going to quickly show you how much it takes to turn water a, a purple color. OK, so I'm going to start very small. Do you see that? Okay, so we're going to actually, that right there, that tiny amount is all you would need to make a wound wash solution. Now, you do not want to ingest that. That is extremely potent. If you were going to ingest this, you would need to then dilute it down with non-potable water and wait a, um, an hour or so, shake it up and let it uh, oxidize and turn things to be potable. You would want this to be a lighter pink color. Okay, so just to give you an idea here. This is now great, and as you can see, there's still some at the bottom. This is a good wound wash. You could spray this on your feet or something um, that might turn septic, okay? All right, so now what we're going to use for uh, fire is we're going to use a lot more of it. Um, now, you really actually don't have to use a lot if it's really fine like this, but I'm going to just to kind of show you guys and magnify something here. Now, it's great because you can actually use a good bit of this for... Um, you know, starting to fire, but it not only does great with dry tender, it does great with wet tender, and I'm going to show you that too. So, um, you would just put a pile of this somewhere, and I, you know, I really don't even have to put a pile of it anywhere. Um, it'll catch as long as you put the glycerin on it. So now we're going to take the glycerin, and like I said, if you had one of those little cigarettes, uh, you know, the vapors or whatever, you would just pour that on top of it. So, you know, about that much. It doesn't take much. And then you would pour it on top. Kind of step back a little bit. And what's actually happening right now, guys, is a chemical reaction 
And then from what you would do here, you would either take saps or something from trees, and then you could pour that on top to sustain your fire. So you would put your big logs and everything on top. But that quick, guys, you would have a uh, fire to keep you warm. You'd have something to pot up, make your water potable and also uh, clean your wounds. So just to give you another example, I'm going to step over here. I'm going to put that right there, and we're going to do with wet. So I'm going to step right here, grab this, come over. And do the same thing. So as you can see, it burns so hot, guys, that you're actually going to get a fire regardless. And so what you can do from here is just simply add your uh, tinder to it and add more dry tinder and then your kindling and then from there you'll have a good fire. So guys, I hope this video is a blessing to you. Until next time.